what is going on guys it is your boy tour crunch and we are back for another video of course by the title and the thumbnail you would know that we're talking about resurrection characters uh because we were you know we were shown some news and uh it's actually pretty exciting i'm a lot more excited uh, for for this uh, resurrection update now because uh there's something that was kind of confirmed that i was not a i was kind of uncertain about so anyways let's go ahead and uh talk about it and just kind of read through everything so uh yeah this right here is just kind of indicating what will be happening so i'll read it uh quickly and just kind of go over it quickly uh new resurrection characters will be added as of 9 13 so in three days or two days we should be getting this update resurrection allow allows you to take an exi as existing six star character and use them as uh, to create a new six star character as long as the existing six star character fulfills certain conditions uh, new items will also be added to the metal exchange for resurrection function. Um, so, anyways, the two um, like the two rules or requirements in order to be able to resurrect a character is that um, uh, it's a, it's got to be a character that is in the list of resurrected characters, and I think they'll be doing that monthly or something like that. It says they'll be doing it periodically. It doesn't say anything like specific, but anyways. Um, we kind of have our first batch of characters that we will be getting and it's these right here It's like the new the old characters that came out back in the day. It's my Yuri Aizen Ichigo Ukiora and Yoroichi uh, excited. I'm pretty excited for that Ukiora, but uh, Yeah, anyways looking at them. They already are showing us the stats and skills and everything so what's really really cool about this is that um these characters actually will be getting an upgrade overall not just through uh just through getting a new soul trait, but they're gonna be getting additional, um, what's the word? Uh, additional uh, stats. And uh, so yeah, that's pretty exciting. Um, something that, uh, you know, I think I think was kind of needed in order for, um, yeah, for, for this to be kind of worth it, right? I, I honestly was not thinking it would have been worth it if they didn't, but uh, yeah. And on top of that, they went ahead and changed up some of the skills. Um, I'm looking at this Ichigo on Bleach FYI right now, uh, the six star version of him. And so right now, uh, when you resurrect, these are his stats. Uh, before, right now, currently before the resurrection, uh, his stats are 907 stamina, 598 attack, 330 defense, 321 focus, 531 SP. And it's looking like everything is getting quite a bit of an upgrade. His attack went up by about 60 or about 50, I should say. His SP went up a, like quite a bit, close to even 100, about 80 extra SP. And if you look at his skills, um, he did also get increases. So he gets Havoc. Uh, that one stays the same. Uh, Blast Zone. I, okay, so these are new skills that he's going to have uh, instead of the ones that he had originally as a character, which are Bombardment, Adrenaline, Devastation, Blast Zone, Havoc, and Sprinter. So it looks like, um, yeah, he's going to be getting Berserker, which is a new one. Uh, he, he will still get Bombardment, which will be nice. Uh, Bruiser should still uh, be there as well. He didn't have Bruiser originally, so he's just going to be able to inflict a lot more damage, which is really cool. Uh, eyes in here. Uh, oh, and then also just keep in mind. He also gets paralysis duration minus 55% Not the greatest secondary skill, but or soul trait, but still decent eyes in here uh, will be getting a nice set of uh, stats his stats do go up a bit and He goes from having uh, a soul trait of 11% dodge link uh, He also will have 16% strong attack damage and uh, Looking at his skills and stuff. He's getting quite a bit of a, a additional skills um, I mean, he has frenzy. I'm pretty sure he still or he already had frenzy, uh, but just to, these are like the skills he will be having, which are adrenaline, long reach. I think long reach was one that uh, was kind of in, in in need. You know, he this it's one that he did need, and same with havoc. So uh, yeah, that's actually pretty exciting. It means that this Eisen might actually be pretty decent. So uh, that's exciting to see. Uh, I, I want to see what it is that he's gonna be able to bring to the table. Uh, this one I'm most excited for. So if you're looking at that, he does get quite a bit of an upgrade. 714 SP is actually pretty good. Um, this is a character I'm actually thinking about 10-10-10 uh, link slotting after after this update. I mean, just great stats 
I think for a character that was released three years ago, pretty decent stats. Uh, he goes from having just uh, 12 recharge time. He also, his attainable soul trait will be fire duration minus 55%, not the greatest, but it's something. So, I mean, I mean I'm not gonna complain, right? Uh, skills are long reach plus 20%, frenzy, bombardment, bruiser, blast zone plus 30%, and sprinter. Uh, he does get that long reach, which is nice. That's gonna be helpful for reach, uh, for the for the range on his attacks, but even still, I think I think the other one would have been Havoc. I think that's the range for his, uh, range increase on his, on his strong attacks. I think that would have been quite good as well, but Frenzy and Bombardment, that's perfect. That's all I could ever ask for. Uh, so yeah, pretty exciting. And then my Yuri here, um, we're not gonna spend too much time on the rest, but you, you know, you get the gist. Like they're all getting pretty decent upgrades on stats. Uh, this guy's gonna get, uh, an additional soul trait of minus 55% slow duration, which is decent. So he's going to have poison and slow duration. He does have these skills right here. He doesn't get frenzy, but he has been uh, long reach plus 20%, bruiser plus 30%, adrenaline plus 20%, havoc plus 20%, berserker plus 40%, bombardment and sprinter. And then here we have Yoruichi with a decent amount of stats increase. Uh, uh, let's see, dodge link plus strong attack recharge time minus 10%. So I don't know if this is going to actually be pretty decent. I mean, uh, it doesn't look too great because dodge link is kind of useless, but the recharge time link is all right. It's only 10% though. That's kind of, that's kind of disappointing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. She does get frenzy, adrenaline, sprinter, enhancer, havoc, bruiser, and long reach. And, uh, yeah, it looks like these are the requirements. I forgot to show you guys. These, uh, she's gonna require five of those blue rings um, for uh, Aizen. I think this is I my Yuri, actually. You're gonna require these um, for Aizen. You're gonna require these right here. Or Ukiora, this is Aizen. You're gonna require these. And uh, let's see, you'll require this for Ichigo. So. Yeah, I don't know, pretty exciting. They don't say anything about like, if you get any reward after completing the resurrection, uh, I would imagine that there will be some kind of reward, but I don't know, we'll see, man. I'm really like, it's kind of like they're almost just trying to hide it or not hide it, but like kind of like leave it a mystery until the day of. Um, there might just not be any rewards, but usually there is a reward. Because if you think about it, when you level 200 a character, there's that, you know, Hogyuku will as a reward. So there has to be a reward at the very least. And so, I don't know, I'm kind of I'm kind of excited. Hopefully there's still that chance of getting spirit orbs. Um, so yeah, that'll be cool. Uh, anyways, there's this uh, that's going to be added. These things are going to be added to the metal exchange. Um, I don't know, on, thir on the 13th as well. Uh, they also mentioned that the BBS tickets they're going to be increasing from one to three instead. So maybe it'll be a little bit more worth it to actually buy, but I still wouldn't suggest it. Um, and outside from that, I mean, there's not much more other than, um, I guess we can just quickly check this out. Uh, there's a few other things that they added, uh, actually quite a bit of things. So the soul tree improvement. So whenever you want to level up a soul tree and you don't want to go one by one to level up each little like Part of the soul tree you can actually do it all in one click which would be freaking awesome uh select more items so uh when ascending an accessory or characters it was originally 10 characters you can use up or click on max now you can click up to 50 and then when you're like erasing items it was it went it went from 30 to 50 as well so that's pretty good and then the time counters and game state when restarting restarting quests so the whole thing for guild quests that went through and so basically you better you better try as hard as you can on each and every single run and you know hopefully not mess up because it's gonna be a little bit more difficult nowadays adjustment to ai for some enemies uh so this right here is just talking about a few and uh, like the auto function there was like a problem with autoing and the ai doing some dumb stuff album improvement now you can kind of like filter out characters you know the ones that you want to see the video function is now gone and it will be cease to provide services up, uh, uh, until october 1st so we I mean, for anyone that ever used that you still got a little bit of time 
issues fixed. Uh, confused your status and where by damage dealt to self, other characters in range of vision was different from one. What was planned? As compensation for this issue, all players will have 25 spirit orbs sent to their gift box. We also fixed an issue with some characters causing the game to freeze on the loading screen. Cut. Blah blah blah. So nothing very serious on those. Um, just minor little changes, but you know it brought us orbs, so I will take it right there. 25 and then five for just doing the update. And so yeah. Anyways, I don't know. Original thoughts on the the whole resurrection. Thing I wasn't too hyped on but now that I see this I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty hyped so uh, I think what will happen is that we might be getting new characters I think this is gonna be like the whole thing where they did the six stars I think when we get new characters they're gonna be able to be resurrected and once that is available um, yeah they're gonna be very OP uh, I still think they're not gonna be like more op than like current characters like manga part 4 manga part 4 will still be very viable same with okiora same with those older characters um but yeah i think eventually those characters will get like the resurrection function and they'll be even better than they are now um they won't like i'm kind of interested to find out whether like if you have one resurrected form and then one non-resurrected form if you can use them in the same team because once that happens Let's say Retsu is still top tier by that point, which I am, would not be surprised. If that's the case, yeah, PvP is going to be filled with Retsus. <laughs> like double double Retsu uh, teams. Oh my god, that'd be crazy. So anyways, man, let me know what your thoughts are on all of this. Um, like I said, I'm pretty excited. I um, originally wasn't excited, but now I am. Uh, I want to see what happens on, what is it, in three days or in two days on Thursday or Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Uh, I want to see what happens. You know, whether we get a nice little 100 or surprise for completing all of that. It's a bit of work, it looks like. So, I think you know, if anything, K Lab should really consider doing it. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching, man. Let me know again what you guys what you guys think about this. And you know, yeah. Anyways, God bless, and you guys have a great day. Peace.